October 2021 was the first time we were able to come together in person to celebrate Police Week since 2019. Police Week gives us the opportunity to come together and support one another. But more than that, it lets us experience something special with the survivors. This week is really not about the police officers, chiefs, and sheriffs that attend. It's about the men and women that we have lost, and it's about lifting their names up and supporting their families. That is what makes Police Week special. Unfortunately, we had to attend Police Week to lift up Deputy Cooper Dyson, who died in the line of duty in December 2019. Cooper's family and friends made the trip out to Washington, D.C. with us, and that made it special for all of us to be with them. Hear from Deputy Dyson's widow, Brittany Dyson, as she talks about her experience at Police Week. Some of the events that we did for Police Week included uh, the police unity tour that came in. We had riders from all over come and recognize officers that had fallen from across the United States. And then from there, we had the candlelight vigil. Um, we had record-breaking numbers of families here, and that was one of the most illuminating, beautiful experiences as well. Uh, then on, they had welcomed us to come to the Arlington um, National Cemetery and have our department and our families come, and that was really incredible. Saturday, we had a memorial service uh, with the president, and it was a very, very humbled and honoring experience to be at the Capitol grounds with all these families. Coming into this week, it was a week that we had really planned for last year. But having that extra year, I think it really gave us the opportunity to grow and really kind of pinpoint exactly how our feelings were. It, it was definitely kind of eye-opening to see just how many families are affected, to be among some of the various families who have similar stories or have similar walks, to see them all face to face after hearing about it, whether it was on the news or it was through the word of mouth. It's um, a little overwhelming, but it's also, you feel a lot of gratitude too. This has been by far the most beneficial thing in Luke's grief process. To be here, to be able to talk about his dad, what he's done for our country and what he's done for our community back home. But then just to be with other kids too that understand what it's like to not have mom or dad come back home and what that really is all about. It's been a beautiful week for him. Being here with our family, with our Blue family at Pierce County and being here with all the other fellow survivors Taking away this, from this week, I, I just a lot of healing. A lot of healing has happened. There's a lot of conversations that were not had or not said, and just to be among other survivors, just to be able to express that. From my son and I, this has been so healing. Cooper has a place among the Memorial Wall in Washington, D.C., and another wall here in Tacoma at the County City Building. But more than that, Cooper has a place in our hearts. He was a servant through and through, and his service to this community, to our department, and to his family will never be forgotten.